Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make a dynamic marker flag. So what does that mean? I had a previous video that showed you how to insert a flag as part of your marker in a line chart. I'll provide a link in the description or in the video here for that particular video. And the thing about that particular video is like if you already had a set of data that didn't need to be updated, that'd be okay. But let's say that we had some data that need to be updated. In this example, we have our markers here, right? They're, they're the flags. Uh, the, this one indicates Brazil and this one indicates India. If we went and updated our table, let's see, we had data for 2016. Let's tab. So we create a new row here in the table. I'll put 2016 and this was 8650 and this is 1710. And you can already see, press tab, you can already see that the markers they didn't go to the latest marker location. They kind of stayed there. And this doesn't look good because what you need to do is then you probably think, you, oh, I'm going to have to remove that marker there and put it over here. But in this particular table, we have it where it's dynamic. If I press tab, we ha I can put in 2016, the same data, 8650 and 1710 tab. And you see that it's uh, kind of doubled it, but that's because there's data here. So there's a formula here that uh, I'm going to bring down. All right, I'm just going to select these bottom two here, and I'm just going to bring it all the way down. So it's going to copy the formula down. And voila, we have our updated. Uh, instead of going into the graph to go through the different steps of removing it in the last marker and putting it into the new marker, all we need to do is just kind of update the table here, and it updated it correspondingly. So let's see how we can do something like this. Let's create a new worksheet here. Uh, click the plus sign, have a new worksheet here. Uh, I'm just going to copy over this data. Let's see, I'll copy over here. And I'm not going to copy the 2016 uh, row for that table. Control C to copy. Go to sheet two. And I'm going to paste this just as a value, just as values, right? Well, let me move this data a little bit. Control X to cut. Let's move it over here. Control V to paste. And I'm going to add some other rows here. So this is going to be a row for the flag. Uh, for the flag. So I'll just put flag here. And this will be India flag. So here this is going to be the data that is going to give me my marker, my dynamic marker. And here we need to put a formula together. I can select everything here, the range of cells, and start to put a formula down that will be useful for all the cells, that will apply to all the cells, because when I press the keyboard combination, control enter, it's going to put it in to all the cells and have the respective cells do the calculation. I'll show you what that means. All right, so I'll just put equal and start if, I started with if statement, press tab, and in inside, I want to make sure that there's two conditions that are met. So I'll use the AND function to start that. So here, I want to set two conditions, two logical conditions. Right now, this particular function is in row 2, but I want to check row 3. And I want to see if it's blank. So I'll type is blank, double click that, uh, row 3. And also, is this row not blank? I want to make sure that's not blank. So I'll say, I'll click this one. And the logical operators for not equal is less than and greater than. And it's going to be blank. So that's going to be two quotes. Close parentheses. And if that is true, if these two conditions are true, then I want to bring back cell B2. If it's not true, put something that is NA. So NA, there's actually an NA function. Press tab, close parentheses, press parentheses. And if I want to have this particular function uh, active or, or execute for this range of cells, I need to press Control Enter. And now it's done that. So what you can see what it's done. This is the combination of all the functions. And you see that my cells B3, B2, and B2, once I press Control Enter because I selected all the ranges, it's going to correspondingly apply it to each respective cell. So if I go here, you can see it's changed to B3 and B3. For the India flag, you'll notice that now it's changed to C3 and C2, right? It's going to compare C3 and C2. 
So that's a nice thing about selecting a range and pressing control enter to execute a function across a range of cells. Now I'm going to turn this into a table and you can either go to insert the table or press control T. As I hover over table you can see that it tells you what it does and it tells you the keyboard shortcut control T. So I'll press control T and turn that into a table. And it's kind of important for, for a table because what happens is a table is kind of dynamic. What happens is later on if I wanted to add an extra row it's going to bring down the formulas of, or automatically you don't have to copy them down. Right? So let's see how this works. I'm going to insert my chart and uh, put in the new data. So let's go to 2D line and bring in a chart with the markers. Make this a little bit bigger. And since I've selected the whole table, it's also brought in some of the other stuff that I didn't need, like the year, or well, I didn't need, need as a series. So I'm going to have to adjust that. Go under select data and just remove the year. It's not going to be a series. So click remove. But it does need to be in the horizontal category. You can see Excel just numbered 1 to 6. We want to have that access label be the year. So I click edit and select 2010 to 2015. Click OK and click OK. And now I've got my years down here. Now you notice that the series of data, it's kind of laid out four series of data because there's Brazil, India, Brazil flag, and India flag. You notice that the Brazil series of data is all orange, right? But the Brazil flag of series of data is yellow. And that's my last point here. The last marker is yellow. You, the reason why it doesn't paint the other portions yellow is we have our NAs here, right? We have a bunch of NAs here. And when the chart sees NAs, it doesn't draw that out. But there's a last data here that it's going to draw out. So it's going to draw out that marker. And that's going to be the marker that we're going to use for our flag and also gives us the dynamic nature of this particular chart. So I'm going to select on that marker, right click, format data series, click the paint bucket, and for my marker, I'm going to go ahead and find that flag. First, I want to make that a little bit bigger. It, let's choose the built-in circle because this is going to be a circle. We, there's many shapes you can use. You can use the square shape or the circle shape. Actually, since flags are kind of four-sided, let's use the square shape and make this a little bit bigger and find our picture. So in the fill, I want to have picture and look for my picture. And there it goes. There's my picture for Brazil. Select that, double click, and we have our Brazil picture. Do the same thing for the India flag. So you notice that India, the, the if I select on line here, we've got our selection here. And the India flag is this blue line, which if I click outside of the chart, you'll see that that blue marker indicates that. As before, the NAs aren't drawn on the particular chart. So I'll select that particular marker and go into the fill and select marker. Also, another way, if you have a lot of lines here and it's hard to select, you can actually, when you're in the format data series, you can actually click on the drop down and you can see which items you can select. So right now I've selected India flag, I can select the Brazil flag and I'll select that. If I go back up here and click on the drop down and select the series in the flag, it's going to select that. So that's another way that you can select that data. If you've got a lot of data here, it's harder to select or they're close together. You can do it that way. Now, let me go back to the marker and also do the same thing wherever I select my built in, get my square. Let's make that 15. Also for the picture, let's select that, click on file and select the India flag. Double click that and now we've got our India flag. I'm going to get rid of these grid lines. They kind of look a little bit uh, busy here. So select that, press delete. And so now I've got my line chart with these dynamic markers. Now, how do I know it's dynamic? Let's go into our table. And the nice thing about tables is it updates things kind of dynamically too when you want to put things in there. So I'll press tab. It's going to insert a new row there. Uh, this I can fix later, but I'll put in Let's just copy this. Control, let's see, Control C to copy. And then I'll just paste these as values just in case. All right, and now I've got my data here, right? So, so now you've noticed that it's changed here. We've got the flags at the last uh, set of data for 2016. And the formulas here have, have updated because now it's looking at whether that last row is blank and it's not blank. 
And so this condition is met, or, or that condition is false, so it's going to provide an NA, right? That's what it's going to do. And for this particular line, so here this condition is true because the line below it is blank and up here uh, is not blank. So that meets it, so it's going to bring back cell B8, right? So that's why it's updated here. And a nice thing to, that this does too is uh, you can do this with labels. So if I selected this and right click and added a data label, let's say I wanted to add that that year by default. Let's add that value. So let's make these numbers without the decimals. So I'll just remove the decimals there so it makes it a little bit easier to read. So this is 8650, which is that number. And I can right click here too. You can see that it selected the India flag. It didn't select, I don't want to select the India uh, series of data. I want to select the India flag series of data, right? So make sure that one is selected. Right click, go to add data label, and we have our data label here. If I decide to make up some data, let's let's just make up some data here for 2017, All right? I'll choose 2017. Let's say Brazil is 9,000. Just make some whole numbers right now, and then India is 1,800. Oh, it didn't take that. So what we need to do, you can you can notice that here is looking at B10 and B8, which is it's got an extra layer there. So all you need to do is just take one of the lines that have the correct formula and just bring the fill handle down and copy it in, copy it over again. And now you can see that it's taking care of that. And so that's actually that's easier than going into each of one of these individual lines to do that. But that takes care of the na dynamic nature of this. Oh, it looks like it didn't pick up the uh, India one. Maybe I did not select that correctly. So let's let's delete this and see it, how it worked there. Delete that. All right, so I've got my 17. Maybe I should delete that and make sure it's on the right one. Select India again. I've got the India flag. Right click, add data labels. And I've got the data label here. And let's add our data. So let's make this 9,000 tab, make this uh, 1,800 tab. And the format is then copied down because they're not there. So I'll just select these two, drag the fill, fill handle down to copy the formulas down. And now we've got our data. We've got our updated chart. So that's the way that we can do it. And when we add new data into the table, it should correspondingly add the data labels down below. And so it just makes it a little bit easier instead of going into the individual points and adding the, putting these up, changing it. You can just change it on the table and it should reflect accordingly. Oh, and one more thing. We probably don't need the legend for the flag. So I click once for the legend and click again for the individual item within the legend. Press delete. And the same thing here. Click once for the legend. Click for the individual item. Press delete. And now that's gone. So there's a way that we can have a dynamic marker with a flag. And also you can probably do dynamic labeling here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.